Greetings entrepreneurs. I wanted to come on today and just give you these key tips about choosing the right platform for your business because there's a lot of uh, platforms out here. There's a lot of apps out here. And sometimes as an entrepreneur, it is sometimes confusing to know which platform, which app that you should be utilizing for your business so you can see the reach that you want to reach. So let me get started in these tips and I'll be on my way. So the first thing about being an entrepreneur means making good business decisions. Do we always make good business decisions? Absolutely not. But the key thing about being in entrepreneurship is you have to develop a thick skin because even when you've made a bad decision, it doesn't mean it's the end of your business. You have to continue to get up and keep moving. You have to keep, you know, pressing on. But if you know your goals and objectives about why you are in business, and it should be to help people. It should be to solve a problem for them, to you know help them to overcome whatever area of their life or whatever that may be for whatever it is that you do. So now the next point I wanna bring out, do, you, do your research. Is the platform a good fit for your business? Now there's like I said at the beginning of this video, there are so many platforms out here, but you as an entrepreneur, when you know, first of all, your goals and objectives, then you know what a platform is about. Go on Google. Google is the search engine. You got Google, you got Yahoo, you got Bing, and a whole plethora of other search engines that you can go and find out, you know, the data behind these platforms. You know, what, what is my, you know, what is a, a good platform that is a good fit for this type of business? Whether you are, you know, talking about fitness, whether you're talking about, you know, health, whether you're talking about, you know, business coaching, whatever that could be, you know, web designing, whatever that could be, go on and do your, you know, research so you can find out what is a good platform for me to have my business on? Is it on YouTube? Is it on LinkedIn? Because now with your seeing in I hear it all the time, is talking about the algorithm, the algorithm. One thing that you as an entrepreneur have to learn, algorithms are gonna keep changing. Platforms are gonna keep changing. Once sometimes you can get a platform down, thinking you have it down to a science, and then they up and change the algorithm, they up and change so many different features of the platform where you now you gotta learn it all over again. So you're in this constant state of learning how to navigate the platform. But the whole thing about it is, is your content consistent? Is what you're delivering to your target people, is it consistent with what you're doing? And what I always tell entrepreneurs, when you are ready to, to you know, get your website on board, or maybe you already have that, that is your home base. Regardless of what platform that you're on, you should all, Ways have a home base to have your people to come back to. So this way you don't have to worry of whatever happens on anybody's platform. They can shut it down and all of your content is lost. They can pack up and <laughs> leave the next day and all your content, all of your followers, all of the people who you, you know, once, you know, started a relationship with is all gone unless you have maybe other information about them or maybe an email address. And I've seen this on, I believe it was on YouTube. There was one YouTuber talking about how she, I believe, I'm not sure, don't quote me, but I believe she had close to a million followers and something happened with YouTube. I think it was a glitch and in a blink of an eye, her page was gone, her videos was gone, her followers were gone. She didn't even know how to, reach out to them to tell them what had happened on her page. So that's just right there an incentive for you, even as you're doing research to find out a good fit for your business, which platform is a good fit for your business, make sure that first platform is your website. Make sure you have that because this way, whenever you're doing your videos, whenever you're doing your blog posts, whatever it is that you're doing, you can always refer the people back to your website or you could let them know listen you know if anything ever goes wrong on this platform you can always reach me here you can always reach out to me at my website and i think that is just a good business sense as you being an entrepreneur because you know we don't know what what happens sometimes on these internet you know sites that we're on so we want to make sure that we're being our due diligence and something that is old school 
it's not a, a bad thing or a bad idea to maybe have a spreadsheet and maybe have those email addresses in a spreadsheet that you have printed out. So if your computer goes on the fritz or whatever, you have a document or you have a file in your hand that you can reach out to those people and say, listen, this happened and I want to let you know I'm reaching out to you because that is making a good business decision. And again, does your tribe frequent the platform? If you're on a platform and your people are not there, then what are you on that platform for? And I'll give you kind of an example. Say a platform is created and the whole thought process of that platform is, well, we want to give out this type of content. So their content could be on maybe dieting and, you know, living a healthy lifestyle, you know, taking certain herbs to help you with maybe different ailments that you may may have but you come on that platform and maybe your content is about you know soul cooking you know how to cook soul food your content is not going to, it's not going to be relevant on that platform because the whole mindset or the whole theme of that platform is based on that one theme so make sure that when you're looking at certain platforms you know the theme of where that whole platform is going because if it's over this way and you over this way and people are like, well, you know, I'm not interested in that because I'm on this platform because I'm trying to, uh, you know, get my health in order. You talking about some deep fried food and I'm over here trying to, you know, live longer. So that is what I'm just trying to give you an insight to because sometimes we as entrepreneurs, we create all this content and we get frustrated because nobody's resonating with it. Nobody's viewing it or whatever. It's not because you're not doing good content or giving out great content. It might be because that's not the platform for you. So just take that and just keep moving on. There's hundreds of thousands of platforms out there. Now, again, I'm going to move my screen down so you can see. Does the platform provide the information you need to make a good business decision? And that's what you should be doing anyway. What are the benefits for you? Like, and I'll use Facebook as an example in this uh, video, like with Facebook, they will show you if you create a business page, like for instance, I'm on, I'm on Facebook. I have a Facebook page, but guess what? I have other platforms where I get more, I mean, 10 times more engagement on my platform. So Facebook may be just a page that I have up just to say, okay, I have a, a presence on Facebook, but that is not where my key followers are. So with that being said, but what I love one thing about a couple of things about Facebook is that if I post something and say it is, you know, information that I'm giving out, Facebook will give me um, um, a notification and it will say, listen, this post that you posted is doing great. You know, you've reached this many people, you know, you can boost it for like $5 or $10 and even reach a larger reach of people. Now, as me making a business decision to say, well, wait a minute, that's a, a good business decision to make. Do I want to make that business decision? Do I want to go in and say, well, you know what? I don't even want to make uh, a boost. Maybe, you know, later on, I'll maybe take that information and go and do something, you know, even bigger with that. But what I'm saying is the benefit that Facebook is showing, especially on this business page, if you have a Facebook business page, is you can have your website up there. You can have now where I believe they have buttons where you can have your phone um, number there, you can have your email, where they can, they even have like a, um, a little store, you like your storefront, where you can put your products up there, your services up there. And I'm like, wow, you know, Facebook is really, you know, stepping up his game which has been done but a lot of people you know are, don't like the platform and i can understand for what a lot of reasons why with facebook's but that being said i'm just showing you the benefits maybe for those who are entrepreneurs who want to make that um decision is this the right platform for me where somebody could say you know what uh -uh, i've been left facebook i'm over here at linkedin because this is where my tribe is is that good for that business owner absolutely who is to tell that business person, well, why did you leave Facebook? You, you crazy for leave, leaving Facebook. Well, guess what? Facebook may not serve me as this platform is serving me. So I'm going to be on the platform that's serving me because I'm making the decision based on what my goals and objectives are in business. And that's basically what it comes down to. You as an entrepreneur making good decisions based on what your goals and objectives are in business. 
does your tribe hang out on the platform? That's the key thing. If they're not there, why would you even be on a platform? Even if Facebook had, you know, all of uh, the, even if Facebook didn't have none of your customers there, if you are have a business page and you know what, well, ain't nobody on Facebook for me. They're, they don't, my content is not for this platform. Then why be there? Be someplace where you know your content can get the engagement that you desire. Now, this is something that is so key, and I just wanted to just highlight this. Is your content owned by the platform once it is published? Because there's an uh, a app that um, I used to publish, that, well, there was an app that I used to publish my um, podcast on. And the thing about that app, it was a it's a beautiful app. I mean, it basically sends my um, podcast to all these different, you know, um, relevant what I would say, um, like iTunes and Apple pod podcasts, all of these different, you know, podcasts that are out here. And I loved it because it gave me a good reach and it. And I see the engagement going up on those platforms. But the whole thing about it is that the content is now owned by that platform. Meaning once you upload your podcast to that platform, it's no longer owned by you. They own that podcast. And I'm like, okay, wow. Didn't see that coming, but you know what? It's okay, because this is what I wanna say to those entrepreneurs. Never allow something that you didn't foresee or maybe something that was, you know, maybe hidden and written in the fine print, because you know how some things are written so so boldly up front, you know, come here, this is great for you and your business, and oh, you can make money and you can monetize this, or da 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 but then in the fine print where you probably need a microscope to read it, you don't see that. Or maybe it's hidden down in page something on in their platform. But the whole thing about it, again, like I'm saying, make sure you have a home base where people can come back to your website, where they can basically find your content that is there because it is owned by you. Nobody can delete it. Nobody can censor it. It is owned by you and make sure when you're on these other platforms, you're sending that traffic back to your website so they can see all of the other good things that you have there. They can see all of the other good blog posts that you have there. They could see maybe you have um, free um, content that they can download and partake of that. You know, that I would tell any entrepreneur, your website is your home base, just like Facebook is its home base. LinkedIn, YouTube, they have their home base, but you as an entrepreneur need to have your home base as well. Now, the next thing I want to say on this, because I'm getting ready to end it, <laughs> your research puts you in a, in a position to make a well-informed decision. Now, with that being said, we research as entrepreneurs. We make sure that when, whatever we're going on, whether it's a free site or a paid site, you need to basically ask the questions Am I going to reach this amount of people? Do you have the data so I can make sure that, you know, my people are on here? And if not, it's no problem. We'll say, okay, well, this is not the platform for me. And you move on accordingly. But sometimes we as entrepreneurs, we can, you know, kind of jump ship and get into things that we don't perceive to maybe come off in a negative light. And even when it does, people, let me say this. Even if you've totally missed the mark in maybe getting on a, a website or a platform that is not for your business, or maybe getting an app or, or purchasing something that didn't pan out, this is what I want to say. <laughs> the goal is to never give up, okay? Because let me, let me say something to those out there that sometimes you can get so discouraged. Sometimes you are doing your best and you are out there to basically put out the content, deliver the information, and do what it is that you know how to do and what you're continually growing in. Are you going to hit bumps along the way? Uh, uh, absolutely. But guess what? Get back up, continue to take that as what they say, a life lesson, and keep moving on. Because guess what? Nobody in this life is perfect. Nobody in this life, you know, just gets it right the first time. We all learn by our mistakes. And that's what I love about this thing of entrepreneurship. There's a, a, a business coach, one of my business coaches, and she would always tell us that, you know, there's going to be, you're going to have people over here that may 
say this and and as you're trying to grow and you can be right at that place where that next that next post you put out or that next video that you do or that next whatever it is is going to open up the floodgates for your business but because you now hit maybe a bump or a snare or something happened to you in your business maybe you made a, a purchased a, a course that wasn't good for you or maybe you sunk money into something that it didn't pan out and now you're feeling all this negative energy or you're feeling just like okay you know should i just throw in the towel and it's like no because guess what if you quit, who are you quitting on? Some people could care less whether you continue in your journey of entrepreneurship or not. But the goal is, what was your why of you starting it? Always go back to your why. What was the why that you started on this journey of entrepreneurship? There was an example I gave, I guess, in uh, one of my, um, my live videos. I said about, you know, there are people that are losing millions of dollars in business. And guess what? They was like, oh, okay. Do, do, are they upset about it? I can imagine they upset about it because they lost a lot of money. And their, what I would say, their basic, their decision-making is costing them even more money because they got more money on the line. So with them making better business decisions is crucial because they have a lot more to lose. When we are at this stage in the entrepreneurship, and it's just life lessons and we're learning, guess what? Let that be something that you just continue to tick off. Oh, I learned this today. Thank you. Let me move on. Oh, I learned this today. Thank you. Let me move on. And what I love is because I am surrounded by a community that continues to encourage me. And that's what I would say to you. Get around a community of people that encourage you, even when you fall short, even when you mess up. Because if you always have negative people coming to you, stating and highlighting when you, oh, well, why did you make that business decision? Or why didn't you do this? Or why didn't you do that? And, and it's all negativity. Then you have to realize, are those the people that you need to be around as an entrepreneur? Find you a group, whatever platform that is on, and basically surround yourself by people who are going to motivate you, who are going to encourage you, who are going to build you up. Because if this is something that you set within your own self that you want to grow and you want to see it flourish, because guess what? It's something that you want to leave to your children. It's a, a legacy that you want to leave to in your family. You want to be some, proud of something that you've accomplished in your life. So why would you ever give up? Why would you ever throw in the towel? So again, I hope these tips help you to make wise decisions in your business, whether you are choosing to get on a new platform, whether you are choosing a different app, whatever that is, make sure that you ask yourself the right questions going in so you can make well-informed decisions. And in the interim that it doesn't pan out, guess what? continue to move forward. So have a great day. My name is Michelle Riley. You can visit me at michellecraleigh.com on my website. That's M-I-C-H-E-L-E-C -E -E, as in cat, R-I-L-E-Y, where you can get podcasts, you can get downloads. I also have a Facebook group called Savvypreneur, S-A-V-V-Y-P-R-E-N-E-U-R. And what that group is, just like you see here, me doing this like little slide presentation in that group, I basically take you as an entrepreneur, whether you're just starting out, and I do many tutorials for free to help you grow your business, help you to understand what business is about, help you to understand, do you have the right business model, helping you understand how to find your, your target customers, how to find your um, target audience, how to create your um, lead magnets to help, you know, garner engagement to have an email list. So all of that is within this Facebook group. I'm giving out these tips because guess what? I want to build a relationship with like-minded individuals to help them grow their online space and to help you succeed in what it is that you say that you want to do. So again, have a great day and I will be with you on the next video. Bye-bye.